Leonardo di Ser Piero da Vinci was an Italian painter, sculptor, architect, philosopher, engineer, inventor, and scientist. He was born April 15, 1452 in Anciano, Italy. His father was Pierre da Vinci and his mother was a woman by the name of Catherine. Leonardo was educated in a studio by a painter by the name of Andre de Veriaccio when he was only 15 years old during the early Renaissance. Leonardo was educated in a studio by a painter by the name of Andrea de Veriaccio when he was only 15 years old during the early Renaissance. He became a master of art at the age of 20. Leonardo combines his art, science, optics, and illusion to create all of his paintings. The Annunciation was Leonardo's first painting. He started painting it in the year 1472. This is a portrait of the angel Gabriel announcing to the Virgin Mary that she will be the mother of Christ. She will miraculously conceive and give birth to a son and name him Jesus. He will be the son of God. Gabriel is the one on the left of the picture and Mary is the one on the right. There are many different versions of the Annunciation, but in this one, the mountain in the background shows Leonardo's manifestation of his interest of his interest in science and his study of mechanics of the natural world. Imagine an invisible line between Gabriel and Mary. As the space in between recedes to the far distance of the mountain, the stronger the attraction between Gabriel and Mary become. The painting was completed in 1475 and housed in the Uffizi Gallery of Florence, Italy. Imagine an invisible line between Gabriel and Mary. As the space in between recedes to the far distance towards the mountain, the stronger the attraction between Gabriel and Mary become. The painting was completed in 1475 and housed in the Unicefi Gallery of Florence, Italy. Leonardo da Vinci painted the mural The Last Supper located in Santa Maria della Grassi in Milan, Italy in the year 1494. As you view this photo, you can see Jesus Christ in the Gospel of John having supper with the twelve disciples. Jesus is sitting in the middle of the table reaching for a glass of wine in one hand and bread in the other. He explains that the bread represents his body and the wine represents his blood. If you look closer, you can see the facial expressions of each disciple as Jesus announced that one of them would soon betray him. Judas is the one who is going to betray Christ. He is the man wearing blue and he's feeling withdrawn by his plan to betray Jesus. If you look even closer, you can see he is holding a knife in his right hand. The painting contains references from which represent Christian belief in the Holy Trinity. The painting was completed in 1498, but because of humidity, the painting began to deteriorate and flake, blurring the color of the painting, leaving it in bad condition. The Virtue Man is a drawing based on the mutual connections of the perfect human proportions with geometry. In the 1480s, Leonardo drew a diagram of a man in two superimposed positions with his arms and legs apart. It is inscribed into a circle and square. Leonardo believes that the workings of the human body must have a similarity to the workings in the universe. 
The virtuum man is a drawing based on the mutual connections of the perfect human proportions with geometry. In the 1480s, Leonardo drew a diagram of a man in two superimposed positions with his arms and legs spread apart. It is described into a circle and a square. Leonardo believes that the workings of the human body must have a similarity to the workings in the universe. Today, the drawing is featured on Italy's one-year-old coin. The Mona Lisa in this painting is wearing a dress and veil with long sleeves made of sheer dark silk. She is sitting down with her arms crossed with her right hand over the left. This is the traditional way women were painted in Italy. Behind her is a curvy road with lots of mountains and a lake. Leonardo uses geometric shapes with curves and jagged mountains in the background. He also uses curved lines when forming the face, hair, and clothing. When painting the Mona Lisa, Leonardo spent a lot of time in the hospital of St. Marie Nuva. He was being treated for depression. Leonardo worked on this painting for most of his last 16 years of life. Her smile is so mysterious. If you look away, then look again, you can see her smile flicker. Many people have tried to unlock the secret behind the smile. Was she happy or was she faking it? What was she thinking? In the hospital, Leonardo spent nights peeling the skin off of candeviers and studying the muscles and nerves underneath, constantly perfecting the Mona Lisa smile. It now hangs in the Lavore Museum in Paris. The portrait was stolen on August 21, 1911 by an Italian man named Vincio Peruga. He kept it hidden in a trunk in his apartment building in Florence, Italy for two years. Peruga expected a reward for returning the Mona Lisa in 1913. He said the reason he stole it was to send it back to his homeland. Because the Mona Lisa is so popular, people have made parodies of her and posted them all over the internet. Parodies such as Miss Piggy, Lisa Simpson, and Batman. Her real name was Lisa Gerardini and she was born in Florence, Italy on June 15th 1479. She was married at the age of 15 to a wealthy cloth and silk merchant by the name of Francisco del Gicondo. She was a mother to five children and lived a comfortable and ordinary middle class life. Francisco asked Leonardo da Vinci to make a portrait of his beautiful wife, Lisa. Leonardo began this painting of her in the year 1503. Lisa del Giando spent her final years at Florence's St. Ursula Convent where she died on July 15, 1542 at the age of 63. Francisco was nearly 80 years old when he died in the year 1539. Putting this all together, this painting focuses on the beauty of of a woman and her feminine mystique. Although not much has been identified about her smile, many art historians have appreciated Mona Lisa's enormous popularity. People from all over the world often gaze and wonder at the mysterious yet smiling painting of the Mona Lisa. It is one of the most valuable and talked about paintings in the world. The artwork I created for this project is a photo of myself posing in a chair with my hands placed together and I am smiling. I wanted this portrait to look similar to the portrait of the Mona Lisa.